A Shreveport man escapes a fire which destroys his home. It happened along Martha Street just before 8 this morning. NBC 6's Jade Jackson joins us now live outside that home. Jade? Well, Dan, Jackie, this home here on Martha Street right behind me suffered plenty of damage. It took firefighters hours just to be able to walk through the home due to the heavy smoke and content. And now the man who has escaped has said he's just happy to be alive. I looked up, getting ready to put my pants on and prepare to leave out of the house. I looked up and I saw some smoke coming from the ceiling up there. Henry Bryant built this home. He's lived in it for 51 years, and he was the only one inside Wednesday morning when it caught fire. I went to the back side of the house to go downstairs. When I got out of there, smoke sent me back upstairs, so I had to run out of the house with no clothes on. It's outside where he met up with his wife, Pearl. They watched from the sidewalk as fire crews battled heavy smoke and flames for hours. He says his pets are unaccounted for. I had a dog and four cats in there. One of the farmers say one of the black cats got out of there, but didn't see the rest of them. Multiple crews battling a blaze on a scorching hot day. One firefighter suffering heat exhaustion. We have transported one firefighter to a local hospital for some injuries sustained during the uh, during fight in the blaze. It took 28 minutes to extinguish the flames, but hours to put out all of the hot spots so it would not reignite. We have not been able to get inside uh, the home just due to the uh, extent of the damage to the home uh, and still some, uh, some hot spots inside the structure that we're trying to get out, uh, utilizing uh, our aerial devices and things. Blasting the home from above with water, the Bryants prayed, surrounded by neighbors and friends, thankful the fire didn't claim more. Well, I mean, I'm not sad about it. I'm not glad that I'm still here still living. Sadly, an update on those pets, they didn't make it. Now, the cause for the fire is still under investigation, but Mr. Bryant says that he's just working towards rebuilding. Reporting live in Shreveport, Jade Jackson, NBC6 News. Good to see it did not end worse. Sorry, Jade, thank you so much.